this is Tamara at MooglyBlog.com, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make the perfect fall poncho. This is a free pattern on MooglyBlog.com, so for the full written pattern, definitely please go to MooglyBlog.com. Links are in the description if you're not already on the site. So here I have the finished poncho. Of course it's too big to show on a small screen like this. There are, again, full pictures on MooglyBlog.com, perfect fall poncho and you can see it as it looks worn. Here you see a close-up of the stitch pattern and that's what I'm going to be demonstrating today. Let me move this out of the way. This pattern is made using Lion Brand Yarns Fisherman's Wool and you can see I have just this much left from the poncho that I made. I used almost four full skeins. So, Fisherman's Wool. It's a great Aran weight yarn and I'm going to be using a J hook with this yarn today. Now, this pattern is begins with 172 stitches, and in fact you'll have 172 stitches in each row as long as you count the chain stitches. What it is, is a multiple of 12 plus 4. So for our little swatch today, for the sake of time, I'm going to start with 16 stitches. So 12 plus 4. That 4 is split with 2 at the beginning and 2 at the end of every row. These are double crochets in every row. So the stitch pattern itself is just worked over the multiple of 12 in the middle. Now, to begin each half of the poncho, you're gonna start with two rows of double crochet. So I've already made that here. Hopefully, if you're making this pattern, you already know how to double crochet. So I've got my two rows of double crochet. I'm gonna start the next row. Now you can start this next row however you like. It's gonna be another double crochet. You could do a chain three, you could do a chain two and double crochet in the first stitch. You can do a chainless starting double crochet. Uh, there's a video for that also on my YouTube channel, so whichever you prefer. For the sake of time, because it's quickest, I'll do a chain two and double crochet in the first stitch. In this case, the chain two would not count as a stitch. Then I'll double crochet in the next stitch, and that'll be the two double crochets at the end. Now we're ready to start the main stitch pattern. Now for this row, what we're going to do, let me grab my pattern here. I am going to start with a chain one, then I'm going to skip the next stitch and work a double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So double crochet in the next stitch and double crochet in the stitch after that. Then I am going to work a double treble around the skipped stitch, which is this one right here, as a front post stitch. So I'm going to yarn over three times. One, two, three, like so. Then I'm going to go around the stitch I skipped right here. I'm going to pull that right into the center here, like so. Pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we finish our double treble there. All right, then it's time to chain one again, like so. And this time we're going to skip the next two stitches. One, two, and work double crochets in the next two stitches. Okay, and then just as before, let me pull up a little more yarn here. We're going to yarn over three times. And this time we're going to work our double treble around the most recent skipped stitch. So this one stays skipped. You can kind of count this as the same as the chain one. It gets skipped all together. But we're going to work our next stitch around this stitch. And you can see I like to fold them over when I'm working post stitches like this. Just makes it that much easier to keep a really good even tension on your tall stitch as you work it off the hook here, like so. Just keep yarning over and pulling through two until you're down to one loop on the hook. There we are. Then we chain one, skip two, one, two, and do it again. Double crochet in the next two stitches. like so, 
yarn over three times one two three front post stitch around the most recent skipped stitch and then we are at the end of this row essentially we're going to skip this one right here and work double crochets in each of the last two stitches now as you might remember I said we started this little swatch with 16 stitches so let's count our stitches here whoops there we go got one two three the chain four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so we still have 16 stitches and we know we're on the right track now let's start our next row remember we always end and begin with two double crochets so I'll do that here get our first two stitches as double crochets this just gives us a really nice border on the piece and also makes it uh, a nice even edge to work our edging around into when we're all done so for the next row we're going to start the exact same way we'll start with a ch chain one then we skip over this one which is the post stitch we worked there at the end of the last row so we skip that one work a double crochet into each of the double crochets we made in the previous row one and go into that next one like so and then this is the trickiest part we're going to work a double treble back post stitch around the post stitch that we skipped this one right here you can see me kind of poking it from behind here so let's yarn over three times one two three push those down on the hook a little bit I'm going to use my finger here to hold those in place and it's kind of kind of hard to demonstrate but I use my middle finger of my non hook hand to hold that up out of the way so I can go around it like so yarn over pull up a loop and then just as before work them off two at a time now that was kind of hard to see but don't worry we're gonna do it again as soon as I finish that one I'm gonna chain one and then I come back here and essentially I'm skipping that chain one I'm skipping the post stitch from before and working a double crochet into the next two double crochets there's one there's two and then it's time to do the double treble post stitch again we yarn over three times like so go to the front now hold up that skipped post stitch get your hook back there go around it from behind yarn over pull up a loop and then work these loops off two at a time here one two three four there we are chain one and then let's go to our last repeat for this swatch double crochet in the next two double crochets like so there's the second one yarn over three times hands down this is the trickiest part of this pattern so if you can get this part down you should be golden hold that stitch up go around it and see like so pull up the loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two pull through two pull through two then we end this not by chaining one we chained one at the beginning we don't end with a chain one we end by skipping this chain one space here and working into these last two double crochets again we always finish off with two double crochets all right that part was pretty darn easy now for the next row these are the super easy ones the next two rows are just solid double crochets but you want to make sure that you're getting your right stitch count so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that part on camera here even though it's just a row of double crochets so what we're going to do is make work our first two here 
then make sure you go into the post stitch then go into the two double crochets like so then go in the chain one space you could work into the chain one if you wanted to but it's so much easier just to go into the chain one space then we're back to another post stitch then the next two double crochets then into let's see here chain one space and then the post stitch are almost there the next two double crochets okay and then remember we had the chain one space there and then the last two double crochets and that should be 16 stitches so let's double check one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen so we know we have the right number of stitches and this is the part of the pattern that creates that sort of arrow look so after this we do another round of double crochets and i will see or another row i should say not a round we're working in rows another row of double crochets so i'll see you when those are done all right so here we are at the end of this row see i've got my two rows of double crochet here this is on the back of the arrows there we are so i'm ready to turn again just as before i'm going to start with two double crochets very first here there we go and now it's time to start our wrapped stitches now if you haven't made wrapped stitches before they are pretty darn easy so don't be intimidated we're going to skip the next stitch I'm going to work double crochets in each of the two stitches after that there was no chaining here these go pretty darn quick there we are and then I'm going to do a wrapped double crochet around these two double crochets here so I'm going to yarn over and instead of going into a stitch I'm going to go right into this space basically right here even though there wasn't a chain you can see there's a gap between the first two double crochets and the next two so I'm going to go right in there kind of right over the skipped stitch and just wrap my hook right around those stitches and then finish it off as a double crochet like so see and it creates that nice little sort of wrapped bundle there so to do the next set I'm going to skip the next stitch work two double crochets in the next two stitches one in each and then I wrap around these two so right in that space above the skipped stitch I just go from right on through that space grab the yarn pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two just like a regular double crochet like so let's do it two more times we'll skip the next stitch go in the next two with regular double crochets And I yarn over and do a wrapped double crochet. Oops. There we go. All right, one more. Yarn over, skip the next stitch, go into the next two. One and two. And then we do our wrapped one. Yarn over, go into that space, stick my hook all the way through to the back, click up the yarn. Pull the loop to the front and finish the double crochet. And then, of course, we're at the last two stitches, and those are each just double crochets. All right, now that is all the tricky parts of this pattern. After this row, you would do another two rows of double crochet, then another row of these. At that point, you'll be heading back that way, so they'll be wrapping in the opposite direction. And then another two rows of double crochets, and then back to these guys. So you just work that's that's the basic stitch pattern these are your setup rows and then you do these two then double crochets then a row of wrapped two double crochets a row of wrapped then two more double crochets and back to these again the written pattern is on mooglyblog.com that again is all the tricky parts um, just 
make it with the right number of stitches across. And then when you've got your two pieces, you will seam the top row of one piece and the bottom row of the second piece together, leaving a hole in the middle for the neck. Then you've got your little poncho. And that's all there is to the perfect fall poncho. Thank you so much for watching and please do subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed what you've seen. Thank you.